Are you looking for a community here in Port St. Lucie that's not part of an HOA but feels like it is? If so, you're not going to want to miss this video. Stick around. So today I'm going to take you out to one of my favorite communities here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. This is the Sandpiper Bay community. What I like about this community and what's a little bit different about it is it feels like you're in a gated community, but you're not. So you don't have to deal with an HOA, you don't have to pay the HOA dues, and you also get a little bit more land. The average lot sizes here are a half an acre, which is double you normally get in Port St. Lucie with a quarter acre. So a little history on Port St. Lucie. I always think this is kind of interesting because Florida tends to be so new as it is, but specifically in the Sandpiper Bay area. It was one of the original areas in Port St. Lucie. And sometimes you'll hear stuff called like the GDC, which is a General Development Corporation. And they're really the ones that founded much of Port St. Lucie. So back in the like 19, early 1960s, before Port St. Lucie was incorporated as we now know it, in February of 1961, the GDC officially opened Port St. Lucie Country Club, which became later known as the Club Med Sandpiper Resort and now is being renovated as the Sandpiper Bay Resort as a sales and convention center for the area of Port St. Lucie. Morningside Boulevard and Monta Vista streets, for example, were lined with one, two, and three bedroom villas that were fully furnished with maid service and central TV for prospective lot and home buyers to rent. So a lot of the homes that you see in that Morningside area don't look very much different than when it first opened. I think it's an interesting concept that the reason that this area looks so different here in Port St. Lucie than the rest of Port St. Lucie is it was originally established as more of a golf and country club area. You'll see some of the smaller homes, some, you know, maybe we call them like little casitas, some of the smaller, you know, two bedroom little villas looking types homes were actually ones that people could rent as they were looking in the area. Everything was centered around the golf course, which is now our public golf course, and the land was developed. It's different than the rest of Port St. Lucie, so just kind of a fun little fact. So a lot of times I'll have people come here to Port St. Lucie, Florida, and they say, I do not want a gated community. I want to be able to have my boat or my RV. I have a little bit more space, and then they get here and they realize, you know what, because of the way that our, our city is organized, you can have a new house next to an older house, and people really want more of a a neighborhood community feel so but they don't want to do a gated community so they said Megan you know where should we go and so I love showing people this community called Sandpiper Bay it is not a gated community and it really has offers a lot for people looking to move into the area if you like the golf courses it's where our public golf course is it's about 15 minutes from the beach and the lots are a lot larger they're about a half an acre so the homes tend to be older they're built more in the I think of it more like the early 80s and you know they kind of have that little retro vibe you don't mind a little renovation these are a great value the average sales price for homes in the Sandpiper Bay community tend to be about around 500, 550,000. A little bit more if you want a pool with it, a little bit less if you don't want the pool. And then also in terms of the, the renovations that have been done, but they're really good solid CBS concrete block homes and they give you a lot of space. So if you really enjoy gardening, landscaping, you just want you know more space from your neighbors and you want the lush vegetation, it's a great option. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Behind me is the Saints Golf Course. This is uh, Port St. Lucie's public golf course. It's an 18 hole golf course with a club and a, a practice range. And it's actually a really, really nice course. And you also have the botanical gardens. And in this area too, you are a little bit more central located in Port St. Lucie, just right off of Port St. Lucie Boulevard and Morningside. And you're about 15 minutes from the beach. If you like to fish by the botanical gardens and it's located near the St. Lucie River, which is great for fishing. So the homes in this community are a little bit older than the rest of Port St. Lucie. So they need a little bit of imagination, but they're mostly all concrete block. You can see the lanai in this house behind me as we back up to the golf course. And you can just see it has a lot more um, landscaping, more mature trees, and just a, definitely a lot more land for these homes. So if that's something that you're looking for, this is a great community. A lot of people skip over. This is in the 34952 zip code. Port St. Lucie Botanical Gardens is a welcome oasis of greenery in the heart of the city of Port St. Lucie. The gardens are located on 20 acres of property on the west side of Westmoreland Boulevard, just south of Port St. Lucie Boulevard on the banks of the North Fork of the St. Lucie River. This botanical gardens boasts a lake with a fountain, paved public paths, beautiful gardens, a pavilion, gift shop, 
and also a special place for weddings as well as they do outdoor yoga uh, in the evenings as well too. This beautiful scenery of this beautiful sanctuary includes butterfly garden, orchard room, and rose garden and they also host a variety of children's programs, plant sales, and live entertainment. The Botanical Gardens is a nonprofit organization and they only accept donations so it is free to come and walk around and enjoy the gardens. Now here in Sandpiper Bay community there are actually two gated communities so if you are still looking for a gated community that the top two communities gated communities in that area are Ravella which uh, has new construction being built by Coulter Homes they have some two three bedrooms with a den you know priced in the four or five six hundred thousand range and then also in that community too they have the estate island section you know which are a million plus in that community and then the second community it's already built out is Ballantry and this is a fantastic beautiful gated community their clubhouse actually overlooks the river so so if you have a boat, and that's actually a community that you can have your boat at as well too. Golf courses and really a wide variety of homes, two bedrooms up to you know five bedrooms or so with your own private pool, the you know, golf course views, and those prices range. They start in the 400s. Most of them tend to be about six, seven hundred thousand. But another you know great community too, if you're looking to be in this what we call it, a little bit eastern portion of Port St. Lucie here in the 34952 zip code. So as always, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want more information about the Sandpiper Bay community, please feel free to send me a message. I'm happy to talk to you about this further. If you like this video and you want to see more things about why I love Port St. Lucie, help you find your treasure on the Treasure Coast, hit the like button or the subscribe button for new videos every week.